Blade Storm Nightmare is an up and coming enhanced version of the original Blade Storm The Hundred Year War. In addition to the improvements to the character creation system and gameplay, elements of fantasy are being added to the game as well, allowing players to fight against creatures such as goblins and dragons in an all new second campaign. Now, Blade Storm Nightmare recreates a series of the 14th and 15th century battles in context of a hack and slash story mode similar with Koei Tecmo's Dynasty Warrior series. Pretty cool, huh? Now in Bladestorm, graphics are enhanced from the previous version with better textures and draw distances, but it's still way too subpar for the current generation of games. But the gameplay thrives in its strategic matchups placed in historical missions, and with the different spin on the French and English war that took place a hundred years for it to be completed. A pretty good story and the highlight of the game is watching your characters interact with each other as they go further on into the story. Going deeper into gameplay, Bladestorm is not as fast as Dynasty Warriors, but in a strategic outlook, unit growth and army tactics are key to become the clear winner. You have ability cooldowns and different units like archers and melees to mix it up, but claiming the field and defeating your enemy is the main purpose to winning the story mission. Character creation is really cool, and comparing this to the likes of Soul Calibur's creation tool, Bladestorm comes to par. Watching your made up character is really cool as he leads the charge as general into glory. And there are some new modes in this remastered mix, as the new Nightmare mode features Joan of Arc turned evil and has a badass new army of goblins that you can face. It's pretty interesting and you'll probably get a kick out of it with some, with some special rewards. So for the final verdict of Bladestorm Nightmare, I'm giving the gameplay grade a B-. The hack and slash and the graphics are pretty low standard in my opinion, but the tactics and strategy makes this game a well worth play. The replay value is shockingly high, there's a lot of missions, character sets, rewards, story, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can unlock and get into. And this game is pretty much fun for strategists and you know, army builders who love this type of game. This is the perfect type of remake that you should get into. And for the consumer report, go ahead and buy this at a mid affordable price and add this to your collection. It's well worth it. Well that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more, go ahead and click on my main channel, Alter Element Games. There I have videos ranging from gameplay highlights, full video game reviews, music soundtracks from some of the best games, and gaming and news updates. Keep it live here at Alter Element Games and visit my fan page on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank Thank you for supporting my channel. Cafe LA, peace and love. I'm out of here. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.